and old Bob. All right, hello everyone. Welcome back again to today, Monday. We're redoing the intro because uh, the audio didn't work the first time, and I'm gonna double check it again when we get into game here. Uh, but uh, welcome to Half Life Two. Uh, welcome back to Half Life Two. If anyone popped in at all back in September when I played through this the first time, but we're doing it again with crisper audio and a nicer webcam, and you know, not having an entire episode where the audio didn't come through because that was fun. That was a fun little find for myself there. All right. Um, real quick, let's make sure that this sounds good. I'm just not, I don't believe in my stream setup today. Let's make sure that. It just is not happy with me, apparently. All right, let's try this again. So what an intro. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that All right, I it's wish working. to imply Jesus. you have been sleeping the close up. the job. No one is more deserving of a rest. And all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Yeah, you mean that when I pushed well, the thing? When I climbed into the machine and pushed the thing? Come again. So I'm like just an agent of destruction for this dude. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. God, the way he talks so is so creepy. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Yikes. And we're on the train, or a train. Hey there. I didn't see you get on. I keep talking to you. This is my third transfer this year. What about you? No matter how many times I've been relocated, I never get used to it. Okay, so they like cart you guys around and you get just like shuffled about. I'm gonna try to learn a little bit more about the world fuck you thing uh, as we're going here because I think the first time I played through I really kind of just walked. I like it's the funniest thing this dude just screams don't trust me don't trust me my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors oh our benefactors all right i'm moving and so whether you are here to stay or hey fuck off i'm listening on your way to parts unknown welcome to city 17 it's safer hey fuck off Mr. Bort? Oh shit. I didn't know they had you guys. They're gonna treat you like shit too? Is that what's gonna happen? Just crack that guy in the head with the broom. Welcome. Are you the only ones on that train? Welcome to um, yes. You have chosen or Overwatch chosen stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. So much of city I'm not sure when that I was. Did their their being nice though, letting me wait here. for him. Yikes. So thoughtfully provided by our benefit. Do you have more to say? I've been proud to nope. call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through or through or It's like the most Demented Walt Disney. Don't hey, what's up? Water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Yikes. They're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I see they took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. I. What do you mean? 
they seem to have this pretty under control. I think they can take my suitcase whenever they want. If I had one. I mean... I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I wouldn't say that too loud. This is his base of operations. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish... Hey, how's it going? Don't talk to me? No? All right. Hey. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Let's go find out. Just a happy Gordon Freeman walking through line, dude. Hey, everybody! I was on an intergalactic space train. Hey. All right. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. Oof. <laughs> That's not a good sign. When they walk over and go, hey, you don't want to see this. Okay. Turns off him. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon Barney from Black Mesa. My Sorry boy. Here, I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with Civil Protection. I can't take too long, or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. My Barney, boy. I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott. Gordon I wish Freeman. I remembered who this one was. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Oh. Also Gordon known as the best character in this game. Be Sorry, okay. Gordon. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, got Gordon? Like a crick in my neck. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of, afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. All right. Bye, Barney. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. <laughs> Thank God there's the E button now. Also, I just need to take a moment and say, hey, Barney, the last time I played this game, I was super disrespectful to you. I said, who the fuck were you? What's he doing here? Why do I give a shit about Barney? Why would I care at all about this random security guard? Hey, it turns out that random security guard was the uh, protagonist of Blue Shift, and there's a goddamn reason why I should give a shit about this man. Uh, boy, did I feel like an idiot. All right, do do do. Bitch. Do. Yeah? How about a cinder block? Ow. Damn it. Ah! 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 Yes, I am just trying to hit him in the... I want to see if there's any way that I can kill this guy. But oh well. Fuck you. It also requires planning and forethought that run in 
direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Oh, really? Instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our skills. Instinct is the enemy. I don't think I caught that the first time. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses. And today we clearly see its true nature. Instinct has just become aware of its irrelevance. And like a cornered beast, it will not go down without a blood. Sure. Let's go with that. Fatal injury on our species. Instinct creates its own oppressors and bids us rise up against them. Instinct like you the unknown is a threat rather than an opportunity. Instinct slyly and covertly compels us away Why is it from trend and progress. Instinct therefore must be expunged. Yikes. It must be fought to and made, beginning with the basis of human urges. The urge to reproduce. We should thank our benefactors for giving us respite from this overpowering force. They have thrown a switch and exercised our demons in a single stroke. Wow. They have given us the strength we never could have summoned to, to overcome this complaint. age ourselves into they extinction. They have turned our eyes towards the star. Let me assure you that the suppressing field will be shut off on the day we have mastered ourselves. The day we can prove we no longer need it. Huh. And that day of transformation, I have it on good authority, is close at hand. The day of the inv of the day of the assault, the day of goodness. New in town, aren't you? Hey, man, are you new in town? It's a cool dance you're doing, a little hot two, one two step. Alright, let's play the game of how many doors can Gordon open? Just walking around. Don't mind me. Fuck you, guy. Let me read a letter I recently received. Dear Dr. Green, why has the Fit to suppress our reproduction. Oh, fine. Sincerely, a concerned citizen. This is cr crazy. Of course, your question touches on one of the basic biological impulses. In all its associated with the years, the years. If I talk to you out here, what's going on in there? Yo, Strider. The detained for questioning squad. Hey guys. Always starts. First the building, then the whole block. They have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one. Look me, you don't need me. You don't see me. You don't see me? Fuck you. What if I look over here? What if I just look into this wall? You can't fucking take a picture of me. You're looking for a place to stay. You better keep going. Face down, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go this way, excuse me. Don't mind me. They've only gotten one picture of me so far. Alright, this doesn't look like a good scene. Let's go this way. Nope. Yikes. Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. 
guys. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Guys. Because this once I hope you're wrong. I also detect some unspoken questions. Unspoken questions. Uh huh. What gives them the right to make this kind of decision? What gives them the right? I don't know. Maybe the advanced alien technology. Can I go? Oh, okay. Moving along. Can't take it anymore. <laughs> Does it be okay? That's uh. I don't know if you should be making that promise. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck. Run for your life. Fuck. This police raid. Shut the door. Woo! I got stuck in a wall and it was a bad scene. I'm so sorry, random citizens. Thank you. Ow! Gordon literally ate a bullet already. They do not fuck around when it comes to suppressing their citizens, huh? No. 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 There's a weapon. Fuck. No. And the actual best character in the game has arrived. Dr. Freeman, I presume. I better hurry. Hey, Alex. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Can I have a weapon? Can I have a... Can I have one of their sti You killed all six of these guys. I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. A map? Hey. I don't even know where I am technically on the map. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me though. Man, a few words, aren't you? I am a silent protagonist. What do you want? Hmm. Oh. Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. Not even once was he shown. Started on Dr. Breen. Not even a single time do I think Dr. Breen was shown. But, hey, here we are. Just walking backwards! Just, so, how's it going? Don't mind me. I know where the door is. showing up on this day in particular? Oh, yeah? Quinky dink that. Alex, Vance, two cools for stairs. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. Literal teleportation. Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you too. Alex, the best character in this game. Kleiner, you nincompoop. Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Where's she hiding? Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness. Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't it? Listen, I did Don't nothing wrong. Here, Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake... I did absolutely nothing wrong. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. 
Alex has just installed the like this magnifying for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loving. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? Hi, Barney. There you are. Man, Gordon. Standing in front of you. The hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything Love that. we for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. I'm just around this to push buttons. Red letter day. We'll oh. inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous what about. Cat? We've what cat? Made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. Can what? I... It's in the back. You're right. I only forgot. Barney, I'll Love that. The honor. If I do this. I've got to get back on my ship, but okay. I love that. I love that I can just go around and fuck with things. Can I do something other than this? Oh, uh -oh. no! Here we go. Ah, damn it. Get it off me! Lamar! Lamar! There you are! I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. Yikes. The worst you might do is attempt to couple with your head. Fruitless, fruitless. Get that thing away from me. Yeah, I don't like it either. Up, up. No, not up there. No, no. Careful, Lamar. Those are quite fragile. Oh, fine. It'll be another week before I can coax her up there. Well. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney. Hey, hey. You're not an animal person. Oh, yeah, I finally have a health bar. Fuck. Well, Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. Always will. I mean, what? parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment. I'm just gonna take a little charge of poo. Oh dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. What if I put a book in? Nope, didn't like the book. My phone buzzed and I don't know why. Always a fun time. Well, Kleiner, quite the setup. Gordon, why don't you position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work? All right. Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. That's not who I think it is. What's up? Indeed it is. And it's our It's me, Gordon Freeman. The theoretical physicist who theoretically out. saved the world. Then let's do it. And theoretically, a super badass. Conditions would hardly be more ideal. That's what you said last time. Yeah, hey, what about the cat, Barney? What now? Literally nothing. <laughs> I got it. Bip. All right, Alex. See you later. Oh, it's hot! <laughs> the <laughs> as she's teleporting away is great. Well, did it work? See for yourself. No. <laughs> Dead. Goodness, my relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Ed. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Yes, I threw one switch and put a plug in. I am a scientist. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. I am a theoretical physicist for, with an MIT education. Also, super killer. 
No, you won't. Not a moment too soon. Gentlemen, we all know that this has gone too smoothly so far. Two. One. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Get Bye, Barney. Ready. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Smashing Bye. shit. Man, Barney is. Barney was ready to jump into the fire, though. So. I'm all but certain it was Gordon Freeman. And snark attack. Ugh. Hey, get out of here. I did such a good job hiding. You don't see shit. You don't see me. Where am I going? Where am I going? What am I doing? I don't know. And if I don't know, you don't know. Piss off. I took pictures of my backside and my rad suit. Which, honestly, identifiable. Big orange armored man. Probably Gordon Freeman. Barney. Barney. Hey, Gordon. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canal. Yeah, those right? like. They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees. And Holy shit! If they can, I come with you. But I Zoom. Oh. Them. Oh, and before I forget. Are those all probes? Drop this back in Black Mesa. My baby. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Bye, Barney. Thank you for everything. You too are a badass that went to space. You're just not as ba badass as Alex or I. <laughs> That's okay. 